Thanks for tuning in. You're inside the fisherman's belly, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a yellowtail poor boy. Now, poor boy sandwiches are traditionally made on long baguettes. Now, let me just talk briefly about baguettes. Baguettes are perfect for sandwiches because they've got just the right amount of crumb. And what I mean by crumb is this. There's two parts to bread. There's the crust and there's the crumb. If you create a sandwich that's got too much crumb in it, there's too much bread on the inside, it's going to be completely out of whack and completely out of balance. And no matter how good your sandwich is, you're going to be eating too much bread. So a baguette is perfect for a sandwich. I'm going to split this puppy open and I'm going to stick it in the oven and toast it up. Inside of our sandwich, we're going to have fried yellowtail. We're going to have red onion, we're going to have lettuce, and we're going to have tomato, and I'm also going to strip up a long dill pickle. I love dill pickles, this is going to be good. On top of that, I'm going to show you guys how to make a great sandwich spread that's very similar to tartar sauce, only it's going to be a little more spreadable than tartar sauce. In my mind, tartar sauce is nice and thick, but we need a nice sandwich spread. So, I'm going to make a tartar sauce out of mayonnaise, out of yogurt, I'm also going to use sweet relish, a lemon, garlic for some wonderful flavor, and of course dill. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And after I show, initially we're going to start off with the tartar sauce. And then I'm going to teach you guys or show you the basics of flying fish. We're going to go through a simple three-step process with our fish. We're going to dip it in flour because the flour allows us to adhere things to the fish. We're going to dip it in an egg wash, and the egg wash also allows us to adhere things like breadcrumbs, or in our case today, we're going to be using a potato flake. The same potato flakes that are used to make instant mashed potatoes, they would create a wonderful crust on that fish. We're going to put it in the frying pan with a little bit of oil, fry it up. We're going to toast our bread. We're going to take our cold tartar sauce sandwich bread out of the refrigerator, and we're going to go and assemble the sandwich. And we're going to just love it, and we're going to think about that fish that we caught out in the water. We're going to taste the fresh ocean in there. Believe me, once again, we will be in heaven because we'll be eating fresh fish. So, And you know, poor boy sandwiches originated in Louisiana, and if those folks in Louisiana get a whiff of this recipe, they'll be crying all the way to our doorstep here in SoCal. The first thing we want to do is we want to create this sandwich spread, this tartar sauce sandwich spread. After we create it, we're going to put it in the refrigerator, let the flavors marry while we're off frying up our fish. The first thing I want to do is I want to get two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. I need the juice of a lemon. I'm going to need about a tablespoon of dill. Give it a fine chop. Okay, I've got two cloves of garlic. Um, if you don't like garlic a lot, maybe one clove, but definitely add the garlic in there. Believe me, garlic is not only is it super healthy for you, but it's with fish, it's a must. And I'm not going to finely dice this garlic. I'm going to rather turn it into a paste. And I'm going to do that with some coarse sea salt. By turning the garlic into a paste, it'll flavorize the sauce all the quicker. Of course, we need to add some salt into the sandwich spread anyway. Back edge of this nice fat chef's knife. And just smash, smash, smash. Turn it into a paste. I need to get my sweet relish. Nice big tablespoon of sweet relish. Dash of pepper. Remember we added the salt already with that garlic. And now we're ready to mix. Take a look at that. That there is a tartar sauce sandwich spread right there. All right, so now that it's mixed up, I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator, let these flavors marry, and we're gonna start frying up the fish. Let's go. Okay, so on to phase two, on to the second step, and that is 
frying up our yellowtail. So I've cr actually created a small little area right next to the stove because this can get messy. So you have to think a little bit and pre-plan. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm putting a cup and a half of seasoned flour. Remember Emerald Lagasse, he always says flour never comes seasoned. So this is seasoned flour, salt, and pepper in a plastic bag. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yellowtail strips, I'm gonna toss them in here, I'm gonna shake them up, grab them with my hands, and put them into the second stage. The second stage is gonna be an egg wash that I'm gonna show you how to create. And then from the egg wash, we're gonna take our fillets and put them into some dry potato flakes. And then into the frying pan. So the first thing I need to do is start heating up my oil. And then we're gonna take my, uh, our, our yellowtail fillets and get this whole process going. And this will take no more than 10 minutes. Watch. Let's create our egg wash. Now this egg wash is kinda of neat. Opa, one egg. Eggs, a little bit of water, and believe it or not, a dash of mustard. And this mustard is going to not only add flavor, but it's also going to help the eggs do their job, and that is to help the uh, potato flake stick to the fillet. That's the whole point of all this. Egg wash looks perfect. Let's get our mashed potato flake out. That looks like about just the right amount. Now I'm not gonna season the mashed potato flake. I've got seasoning in my flour, so I think that's gonna be adequate. And plus all the seasoning that's going into our tartar sauce spread. So now I'm gonna get my tongues. So now I've got the flour, the fillets will get dipped in the flour, they'll go into the egg wash, they'll go into the potato flake, and then into the frying pan. So let's start off. I've got approximately six strips, so we'll do three at a time. See, and that keeps that flour in there. All right, take the flour, shake them up, look at that, that's perfect. One, two, wow, look mom, no mess, and there's three. So now I'm going to grab these fillets, make sure that egg wash gets administered all over, wow, why is it that I'm already salivating, I, I just don't get it. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. My belly needs to get filled. All right. All right, take a look at that. Now we're gonna shake them up a little bit. We're gonna turn them over. And if you can do this in your kitchen and not make a mess, your wife will love you, I promise. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Two. I'm only going to do up three at a time because I don't want to drop the temperature of my oil in the frying pan so I get a nice even cook. Now I'm going to go get a platter. I'm going to put some paper towels on the platter to absorb this extra oil and get ready. Okay, so while all this is going on, I'm going to multitask. I'm going to split my bread in half lengthwise. I'm going to pop it in the oven. I'm going to keep it in the back of my mind, actually in the fore part of my mind, because I don't want to burn the bread. If I do that, I'll have to run to the store and get more bread. So I'm going to do that while this is frying, and I'm going to keep an eye on everything, and I think I might be able to pull it off. We'll see. Okay, it's probably been about a minute and a half, getting close to two minutes. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. All right, less than a minute, they'll be done. Awesome. The bread, the bread. Don't forget the bread. Ha, huh, perfect, look at that. Look at that, perfect. All right, the oven was preheated at 400 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes. Kept an eye on this bread. That's perfect, take a look at that. 
oh, that's gonna make a great sandwich. And see what I'm talking about? The ratio of the crust to the crumb. There's very little crumb compared to all that crust. And that's what you want for any good sandwich. For Subway sandwiches, eat your heart out. All right, these guys are done. These guys are just perfect. Wow, look, gee, look at that. Yellowtail poor boy sandwiches, like I said, when people in Louisiana get wind of this, they'll come running, running. Wow. Talk about fish sticks, look at that, look at that, holy moly. Gang, we are really close, we're really close. Okay, let's do some prep work here. First of all, we're gonna cut our onions. You'll be shocked. You'll be amazed. It's a new way to use yogurt. Look at this. It's a perfect amount of spread. There's nothing left. Okay, first thing that goes down are the onions. Second thing that goes down is the lettuce. And now for our tomatoes. Next time you guys get invited to go fishing on someone's boat, just bring the sandwich along. Especially if you want to get invited again. Trust me you'll get invited over and over again. Whenever I'm making a sandwich and I have tomatoes, I've always got to add some salt to those tomatoes. Help bring out the flavors of these tomatoes, especially if they're not homegrown sweet tomatoes. Salt and pepper. Awesome. Okay. And now for the fish. One. Two. Five. All right, last but not least are these wonderful pickle strips. God, look at these pickles. I love pickles, just love pickles. And the bread. There we go, oh brother. Yellowtail poor boy, there you go boys, dig in. <laughs> 